Jasmine here for Hot Spots. We are at the most fabulous club in Youngstown. It is called Pulse. And they had the muy caliente, the fabulous Miss Nina Flowers. How you doing, baby? Hello, sir. I'm very excited to be here with you and all our friends at Hot Spots. It's my first time visiting here, Youngstown, Ohio. And I'm having a wonderful time. I'm having a blast. Everybody's so nice. I just can't wait to make this happen again. You know what? I was watching you on stage. You are just a little firecracker out there. Thank you so much. It's hard to keep up. I'm not getting any younger, but, you know, I try to do my workout every now and then. And, you know, it, it's all about the energy and entertaining people. So I just, you know, I do my thing and I, 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 I'm just always hoping to feel the expectations of the crowd and everyone. Well, you certainly did because they were into you tonight. They were screaming and hollering for Nina. Thank you. Th thank you so much, sister. Uh, like I said, I'm having a blast every, at the energy. I feed on the energy of the crowd, and it's so, so, so amazing that, you know, it just comes naturally. I'm having a blast. It's amazing when a crowd can pump you how, how far you'll go. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, every, every time, um, every time we, all, we, we visit a, a different city, we're always guessing how it's going to be because no matter how, how big has, has the show uh, been in other cities, you know, it's not always the same and, and you're always like looking to make sure that you really entertain everyone and the, and the crowd is really enjoying what we do. Now, I also did a little background history on you. You're a continental girl. I did. I was continental girl in 1999 for Puerto Rico. And then um, that was my first year um, doing the Continental System. And after that, I took a break. I took one year to prepare better. And then I went back in 2001 for New York as Miss City Lights Continental. I did prelims in Puerto Rico and New York City. Bravo for you, girl, because Continental is the top. It's really, it's really, it's really hard, um, especially when, when the, 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 most of the girls that really compete in this system are, are you know, girls that have been doing it for so long and you know they, they they literally spend a lot of money and I mean it's a it's a subculture you know the continental system is really important I, 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 w I would um, I would say that um, continental um, helped me grow to a level to be right where I am right right now today like it helped me so much I learned so much from it and it was a wonderful experience well, I do have to say, when I first walked, when you first walked in, and I looked at that face, and I went, "Oh, she knows tranny paint really well," which Continental girls do. Absolutely. Well, most of the most of the girls that that are in the Continental system, they they live their their life as 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 ladies, you know, and and for us boys to to enter into this system, it's really hard to to compete with like like. 24/7 girls, you know that they're they're so they're so freaking beautiful and so real, you know. But it, it's it's always good, um, and it's 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 an, an experience that is really worth it. Absolutely, it makes you grow to to the very best. Now, you know, the one thing I find so fabulous about you is, you know, a lot of girls, you know, they want to do that really. Just I'm beautiful. I'm your look is so cutting edge and stunning. How did you develop this look? Well, um, when I first started doing drag, I was really, um, I was re re very um, gender fuck, let's just say it that way. Um, I, I always like to play with the gender. And, and then Continental came to Puerto Rico for the first year in 1998. And it was the very first time I saw um, um, girls, you know, like, like so amazing, so beautiful. And I said, you know, this, this is a, the next step in my career I want to try and match that I want to I want to I want to get into it you know and I when I was doing the continental system uh, I would say that for a few years I really got into that mood and I, I really tried that road I had I had no tattoos back then and I was uh, younger skinnier and it was easier you know to try to make it uh, look real but you know, after a few years and a few a few pageants, I realized I was not the pageant girl, and that that there there, there was so much going on. I mean, so so much. I said, you know, I want to be different. I wanna I wanna I wanna stick. I wanna 
make my own thing and and I just don't want to be one more in the bunch so I I, I I went back to my my roots and started recreating my image trying to combine the really um, sexy female with the androgynous look and it's it's what got me to what Dina Flowers is today you know and I have always said this pageants crowns on top of your head does not define you as an entertainer I, I absolutely agree with you um, I think there's there's a lot of politics involved in pageants um, and I'm sure a lot of people will agree on that and a lot of people probably won't but it is what it is you know some people were born for that and some people are into spending all that money year after year competing and competing and competing for a crown you know if it works for them and makes them happy congratulations it's just it's not for me you know I, I really I did um, I did RuPaul's Drag Race because I, I, I just thought that you know I said you know what the heck they're looking for America's next drag superstar and I'm thinking that the next drag superstar has to be cutting edge like different you know something someone that offers something new and I said well I think I could I could bring that to the table so why not you know Season three seems to be the real hot tamale right now. What do you think about season three? Well,